Stay local. Yeah, that's right. Or get picked up by any of the NBA teams, really, Bill. Tonight's NBA draft is going to provide a life-changing moment for 60 basketball players and potentially one in Kennedy Meeks, a Charlotte native. He is on the cusp tonight of his lifelong basketball dream, and he spent part of the day at NBC Charlotte catching up with her own Rob Hughes. It's finally here. It's Thursday. Um, probably one of the biggest days of my life. A kid from West Charlotte, Meeks was named the McDonald's All-American in 2013. It was then that he knew his dreams of making the NBA could be a reality. It became real to me as far as getting that recognition and being in front of the biggest crowds and playing at the highest level. Like a lot of All-Americans turned Tar Heels, Meeks had the chance to turn pro more than once. I'd probably say during my sophomore year, that's probably when I was the closest. Uh, I didn't really, I didn't put my name out or anything, but I feel like I was probably the most ready then. The decision to stay in Chapel Hill paid off. Meeks went on to play in two national championships. My last two years were the, some of the, the best times of my life as far as going to the final four back-to-back -back times and uh, losing the first year and winning the second year. It doesn't get too much better than that. Until tonight, when he'll hopefully hear his name called by an NBA franchise. I'm hearing a little bit of early second round. Uh, Maybe sneak into a late first. It only takes one team. My mom says that all the time. It only takes one team to see you and want you to be a part of that program and uh, just give the best shot when I get there. Rob Hughes, NBC Charlotte. And Kennedy tells us he plans on watching the draft tonight in Charlotte with a big group of his family and friends. And as we found out in Phoenix at the Final Four, that is a big brood, and they're going to support him no matter what. We wish him the best. The Hornets have two picks tonight at 11 and 31. What are they going to do with it? We'll explore that at 6. Live in Uptown, Nick Carboni, NBC Charlotte. Nick, thanks. Splashing into the record book. Still ahead, meet the group of kids taking part in the world's largest swim.